from Macomb County Public Works Commissioner going on the offensive, running nonstop attack ads on TV. Last hour, we featured Candace Miller, now Anthony Morocco. As we first reported, he hired, fired, then paid off a former stripper. 7 Investigator Jim Kirchner is live with more on what he uncovered and whether your tax dollars are involved in this case. Jim? Yeah, Stephen, in this report, we're going to focus on that former girlfriend he hired in his office on the taxpayer's dime. It became quite a lawsuit. Mr. Morocco didn't want to discuss this with us, so we went to one of his campaign fundraisers to hold him accountable. This is my little fundraiser. It's not I know. Can we step aside? I think you're I a wonderful have... man, Jim Kirshner. I love you. We'll come back to the commissioner in a minute. First, meet his former girlfriend, Marty Parker. In her lawsuit against Morocco and Macomb County, she began dating him around December of 2012. She was 22. Morocco would have been 56. Who's this gal? I don't know. Isn't that the gal you dated about 12 years or so ago, Marty Parker? It possibly could be. Morocco, in his court reply to the Parker lawsuit, admits he had a consensual relationship with Parker, but denies it started in December of 2002. According to her lawsuit, Parker was hired in Morocco's Public Works Department as a temporary in January of 2004 and full-time in March of 2004. She was fired in July of that year. Parker states in court documents, Commissioner Morocco created a hostile work environment by making unwanted sexual advances and requests for sexual favors after Parker broke off their relationship. Parker also alleges Commissioner Morocco conditioned her continued employment on her submission to his advances. When she refused, she was fired. What was your relationship with her? I dated her. Yeah, and you hired her, and then you fired her. Did you marry your wife? Before? Did you date your wife and then marry her? During the lawsuit, Morocco's attorney wanted to subpoena Parker's past employment records that included three area strip clubs, the Toy Chest, the Landing Strip, and Tycoons. She worked for the county. Right. Mm -hmm. You put her in that job. What qualifications did she have? Where did you meet her? Her qualifications? Yeah. She met, asked the county. She applied for the job. Yeah, but you gave her the job. County put her on the list. You gave I her think, the job. You know, right now, I really don't have time to talk about it this time. Morocco paid off Parker in the stipulated out-of-court settlement in March of 2006. As standard, there's nothing in the document about how much was paid. Did you pay the out-of-court settlement with county funds or out of your own pocket? That's what I'd like to know. No county funds were involved. You paid for it out of your own pocket? Yes. How much was it? It's my business. According to the Macomb County Corporation Council, taxpayers did foot the bill since the county was named as a defendant. That tab? $66,000. Marty Parker is no longer with us. She was killed here at the corner of Jefferson and West End, southwest Detroit, in December of 2008. Her murder is still unsolved. She was found slumped over the wheel of the car, shot once in the right side of her neck. A bullet hole was in the passenger side window. Robbery was not a motive. Her purse, $52, still with her. Police sources say Parker's lawsuit against Morocco is part of the murder case file. But Parker's mother said Marty had not been in contact with Morocco since the case settled. Morocco was not questioned in the murder. The murder case sat idle on the shelf since 2010 until we asked about it. Now it is reopened. Inactive maybe, but anytime we get new information uh, from whatever source, uh, we be, it becomes an active case. Which brings us back to Morocco with many more questions. You tell me when and where we can sit down in the next... We are going to meet on November the 9th. Not before. So no. you're not accountable to the taxpayer. I'm very, no, because I work during the day for the taxpayer. And because this murder case is back open, Crime Stoppers tonight is offering a $3,500 cash reward if they get a tip that solves it by midnight tonight. And we have an open invitation to talk with Mr. Morocco. Live in Macomb County, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, Jim, we'll look for that report tonight. Action News at 11, thank you so much. To see Jim's report on Morocco's challenger, Candace Miller, or to see what's on your ballot, we have everything right now on WXYZ.com slash vote. I don't